for four. Their release is the result of years of tenacious British diplomacy. I want to thank our Romani friends and Minister Badur for their help in bringing our nationals home. And I pay tribute to the efforts of many in this House, particularly the members who progressed the talks. In December, I met Minister Badur and I secured Oman's assistance in this important work. And in February, I held discussions with ministers of their constituents. We join the government in thanking uh, the government of Oman for their help. I also give credit to the tireless this news work. is like sunshine on a rainy day. Congratulations to all involved. Would she agree with me that particular tribute needs to be made to Sayed Badia and the Omani government, who are establishing themselves as interlocutors and mediators par excellence in the region? Minister Badur and the Omani government have been incredibly helpful in assisting us with uh, this issue. And I want to pay tribute. They, uh, they flew uh, the detainees out uh, to Muscat. Uh, I've been in regular touch with Minister Badur since I first met him uh, in December last year, and they have been instrumental uh, in making their, that happen. And they are true friends uh, of the United Kingdom. Uh, the Honourable Gentleman is right in what he says about we dual national. Repay this historic loan. As we often say, where there is a will, there is a way, and that has certainly been proven to be the case. But could I ask her about the, the role of uh, the government of Oman? I understand from her that the, the government of Oman has been uh, playing a very positive role. But is it the case that the role was such that the uh, money was actually transferred to Iran via the Oman Central Bank. Well, our Omani friends have been extremely helpful, uh, working with us uh, to help transport uh, the detainees between uh, Tehran and uh, the United Kingdom, but also working with us on some of the practical arrangements around the detainees and working closely with the Iranian government. We've also had, of course, direct contact with the Iranian government too, but it has been a truly successful partnership in helping this happen. Scott Benton. Thank you. Had. She also met her counterpart from Oman, who played a key mediation role, facilitating the payment of Britain's debt through his country's central bank. I really hope uh, what has been achieved uh, here may stand as a beacon for future progress, uh, in, in not just in the relationship between the UK and Iran, but also in international relations. Certainly, broader international relations, the UK feared paying the debt would fund terrorism and breach sanctions. But in a deal finessed by the Gulf state of Oman, £393 million was finally transferred to Iran today, money the government claims will be used for humanitarian purposes, thus avoiding the risk of sanctions. It isn't a ransom.